Hi everyone. In this video, we again are going to discuss about virtual networking and virtualizations. And specifically, we are, we are discussing about host-only networking, but this time we will be configuring these virtual machines without virtual DNCP and we will create a custom virtual switch. So we know that host-only networking is used to create a network that is completely contained within the host computer. It means, and we to actually repeat the same thing, that for instance, on our host machine, we have different virtual machines. For example, we can have Kali Linux, we can have Windows 10, we can have Windows Server machine. So now we have different virtual machines and we want to create a virtual network of those virtual machines on our host. And this kind of setup is useful when we want to have multiple computers on a single computer. So in that case, we can have virtual, multiple virtual machines. So anyway, in this case, we are going to configure these uh, virtual machines to be part of a host only network. And we discussed that, uh, in, that these virtual machines can be assigned IP addresses using some virtual DHCP. So that DHCP will be assigning dynamically the IP addresses to all those virtual machines like this. And we also discussed that in this VMware, actually virtual switch is there, which is used to connect these all virtual machines. And by default in VMware workstation, there are three virtual switches like this. We have three virtual switches. One of them is VMNet 0, second is VMNet 1 and VMNet 8. And that VMNet 1 is basically by default uh, configured as a host only network. And now uh, in this actually, so this is VMNet 1, which is by default by host only. But in this video, we will create a custom virtual network and we can give this VM number, any number. I mean, we can give any number to this virtual network, like 15 I have taken here. And we will configure IP addresses manually. So in this case, it means we will not be using any virtual DHCP server. We will create we will create a network of these virtual machines. We call this VMNet, VMNet 15. And then instead of using virtual DHCP, we will be manually configuring IP addresses of these all virtual machines. And in this case, those virtual machines actually will not be able to communicate uh, to the internet. It means they will not be able to use internet services. And in addition, these virtual machines will not be able to communicate with the rest of the nodes like we can have maybe any any node for example at our own network for some these uh, laptop smartphone or tablet so they all will have an ip address but they will not be able to communicate with these uh, virtual machines these virtual machines will actually be uh, stand alone network and and this is very much recommended when we are doing or we are learning some some like uh, ethical hacking so we want that these virtual machines should be only within this boundary, they should not be able to interact with the, the internet and even on the host. So we, we configure IP addresses manually to this. So let's move to the actual demonstration in VMware. Now for demonstration of this host only network using uh, manual IP addresses for those virtual machines, I am using this VMware workstation and uh, I have these two virtual machines. One of them is Kali Linux and second one is Windows 10 virtual machine. So these two virtual machines, I will create a virtual network VMNet with any number and then we'll connect these virtual machines with that VMNet. And that will be private, that will be host only and that will be contained within itself. So for that, we can create virtual network editor, uh, virtual network adapter, virtual network switch, sorry. So in this case, we need to go to menu bar and then click edit. And then here we click on virtual network editor. And in this virtual network editor, you can see here, we have some of the switches, virtual switches or virtual network already created by default. And uh, if we click on change setting and yes, so we can see we have these by default three virtual switches. One of them is uh, by default configured as a bridge. Second is host only and third is net. So we can use host only here, but today we will be creating a custom network. So in this case, to create a new 
a network or new virtual switch we just go to add network and here we have different numbers so we can create any vm net here so you see here vm at 0 1 and 8 are not there because they have been defined by default so we can select maybe say for example vm at 13 for instance so select the network to address that will be vm at 13 and we say okay and then you can see we are creating this vm at 13 and that is host only so this is host only but this time we are planning that we will not be using this dhcp server to assign ip addresses to our virtual machine so i'm going to deselect it and check this box and then we are also going to uncheck this box that this says a connect a host virtual adapter to this network so we are going to uncheck this one this as well because we want our network to be self-contained and this should not interfere any other network for security for safety of our host so we say apply and after this setup we say okay so now we have created this vm at 13 that is host only type of network and say okay and then we are going to our virtual machines first Kali and now we want to join this Kali Linux machine to our virtual network that is VM at 13. So for that we click on edit virtual machine setting and here on the network adapter I am going to click on custom and the custom we will have all the numbers of possible VM nets and we just selected or we have created VM at 13 so I am going to click VM at 13 that means now this Kali machine will be part of this VM net 13 that is host only network press ok and then we go to Windows 10 again same way click on edit virtual machine setting go to network adapter and click on custom and the custom we created virtual network that is VM net 13 so I'm going to click on VM net 13 so now this Windows 10 is also part of VM net 13 that is host only network now turn on these machines for example for this power on this Kali Linux machine and also power on this Windows 10 machine. So it will take some, some time for those machines to boot. Meanwhile I am going to again emphasize that in this host only network we are not using virtual DHCP. We will be manually assigning IP addresses to, uh, the, uh, to the members of this virtual network. To those virtual machines now it will take some time for these virtual machines and this is important and this is really useful when we are learning some client server technology or we are learning some ethical hacking where one of the machine will be our attacker and the second machine will be our victim or our target machine so for all these lab work or these lab sessions when we are working ethical hacking our client server things for example we want to learn about active directory in windows server so one of the virtual machines can be windows server one of the virtual machine can be simple windows any windows so for learning purpose is really useful when we don't have multiple computers multiple physical computers we can create virtual computers on a single uh, our host computer and then we can play or we can create the networks and we can learn everything so our Kali machine is ready just we have, have to give the username and password so Kali Kali is a username and password and uh, I, I'll put the link to download the virtual machines for Kali Linux in the description section and the same way we have Windows 10 but it's still still booting but in this Meanwhile, we can see we can see the IP address for this virtual machine for this. I mean for this Kali for this I'm going to click on this terminal emulator and here we will use a command that is ifconfig and this command will give us the IP address for uh, the network adapter virtual network adapter for this Kali. And you can see this ETH0, this Ethernet0, so ETH0 is the network interface card. And this network interface card has not been assigned any IP address because we didn't use any DHCP here. So we will be manually configuring the IP address for this Kali Linux. And for that, we have a command that is, uh, so we should be in administrative privilege as a super user. So sudo, and then we, 
have the command if config and then we specify the interface where we want to uh, assign the IP address so that is eth0 and then this is the IP address which for example we can say 1.1 1 .1, 1 .1 1 .1 1 for instance and then the subnet mask can be 255.255 .255. this is just only for learning that we are going to specify the IP address for this sorry we also need the net mask keyword here so this is the complete command by which we can configure IP address on a Kali Linux machine so with this command this uh, this is asking for the password for Kali machine so I have given the password and now this has been accepted and this time hopefully if we run if config command again then this machine will show us the IP address which we just configured so you can see here now we have this IP address which we just configured and in the same way we can assign IP address manually to this windows so for that first we want to verify whether this machine already has got some IP address or not so for that we are going to command prompt of this windows virtual machine and in this command prompt if we are in windows we have IP config command and by using this IP config command we can see there is no IP address and this IP address is actually uh, known as a PIPA so that is uh, automatically generated automatically assigned by the windows machine that will be that will not be used for the networking I mean, I mean this will not be able to route the traffic so in this case to assign the IP address manually to this windows machine we will go to this open network and internet settings and then we can go for example to ethernet and then change virtual adapter options here and here this is the network adapter we are going to properties and in this properties we want to configure ipv4 address so i just click ipv4 and then go to properties and here instead of opting an uh, ip address automatically i'm going to select use the following ip address in this case for example so ip address of both of the virtual machines should be on the same subnet so we are going to select 1.1.1.2 ip address for this virtual machine and the subnet mask was 255.255.0 and that's it so we assign ip address to this windows machine as well now both of the virtual machines has got an IP address and now for this Windows machine let us verify that we have assigned an IP address to this Windows machine for that again we use IP config command and here you can see this Windows has got an IP address that is 1.1.1.2 now once we have configured the IP address for Windows 10 and uh, for Kali Linux we can check the connectivity in between these two virtual machines using ping command so for that I'm going to Kali Linux machine and here again using terminal so in the terminal we use ping command and in the ping for instance I'm giving the IP address of this windows 10 that is 1.1.1.2 and we press enter and you can see we are receiving and the response from this virtual machine that is windows 10 okay. in the same way if we go to windows 10 and from here if we uh, ping our Kali Linux machine the IP address for that Kali is 1.1.1.1 and press enter so you can see we are getting a reply from uh, Kali Linux machine as well it means now these two virtual machines are connected with each other using host only so they have created a virtual network of their own now we can for example for some learning purpose we can use one of the machines as a maybe client second machine as a server or for any purpose but now we have these two virtual machines connected with a private network of its own one of the machine has IP address of 1.1.1.1 and second has an IP address of 1.1.1.2 so this IP address is for just for, uh, for example just to demonstrate this thing you can use any IP address for this Thank you. Thank you very much for your time. I hope to see you in some other video. Thank you.